Hello, my name is James Tabor, and I've just completed a new book that I'm very excited about. The title tells it all. It's titled The Lost Mary, and then the subtitle, How the Jewish Mother of Jesus Became the Virgin Mother of God. Now, clearly, I'm going back to try to get at the historical Mary that's been lost to us. In fact, I opened the book with a short but very paradoxical sentence that Mary, the mother of Jesus, is the best known, least known woman in history. Think about that. We know so much about her, and she's the most exalted woman by far. Joan of Arc, Cleopatra, Helen of Troy, they all fade compared to Mary. But what do we really know about her historically? So I use ancient texts I used the Bible. I also have been doing archaeology in the Holy Land. I've actually excavated at many of the sites in Jerusalem and in the Galilee, even in the city of Nazareth and Sepphoris, which is nearby where Mary lived. And I try to get at the historical context of Mary. Now, in doing that, it is somewhat controversial. But I really believe that I'm giving her her life back. Theology is one thing, and beliefs and faith. And certainly people are welcome to those things, and I want them to come to their own conclusions. But I'm thinking about Mary the human being. Mary the woman who lost essentially her religion because she was Jewish. And I think she lost her family. The New Testament lists these brothers four brothers and maybe as many as three sisters, plus Jesus. So that would be a family of eight. I think she's widowed, so she's a single mother, and she raises this extraordinary family. So I hope that this book will be of great interest to people. You know, one of the things it does cover is the father of Jesus. If Jesus had a human father, Many would say that he didn't, and some say that God is his father, and certainly spiritually that's understandable. And I, I mean biologically. I have a chapter on what we know about that sort of thing. So I really cover every possible thing we can know about the ancient historical Mary, and I think this book will be of great interest to millions of people.